Hey, what's up guys? I want to talk about 2 Timothy 1.7. It says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind, right? I want to point this out because many of us, we seem to put the focus on the fear, even when it's about the fear that God did not give us. I believe that God is trying to get us to a place where we're paying attention to and emphasizing that which he has given us so that when we come across that which he has not given us, it doesn't face us anymore. It does not distract us anymore. See, for a long, long time, the body of Christ has been distracted by spirits, distracted and taken astray and uh, basically focused on the decoys. You see, every time we think of fear, every time we think of the spirit of fear, the spirit of sadness, the spirit of anger, the spirit of this, the spirit of that, we remove the focus and the importance and belief and trust off that which God has given us. And I came to remind you, biblically, that God did not give us many spirits, and God did not give us the spirit of joy, and the spirit of gladness, and the spirit of power, and the spirit of peace. He didn't have to. He had to only give us one thing, one spirit, that's himself, the Holy Spirit. And because we have the Holy Spirit, there's love according to Romans 5, 5, the love of God in us. There's power, there's authority, there's a determination, a motivation, and a sense of urgency to overcome obstacles, to pass over that which is trying to hold us back, to, to move mountains. That's, that's the spirit of power, that's the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit of a sound mind, not a mind that gets distracted. That's why it says do not be uh, do, do, do not be anything but sober. Be vigilant, be watchful, know what you're doing, renew your mind, be of a sound mind, think, meditate. He wants us to be of a sound mind and not be distracted, not stress out, not worry, and definitely not fear anything because the one who is in us is greater than anything that we may come against, come across, see, witness, hear about, or come in contact with in this world. As he is, so are we, where in this world, not only in heaven and in this world, Jesus, he came across the scariest of things and he overcame from the devil to the flesh, to death, to uh, persecu persecutions, Anything and everything that we can possibly face, he he emphasize, he sympathizes, empathizes with us because he went through it. And he's saying, hey, don't worry about this, that, or the other. Don't worry about what you don't have or what you could have or any spirit because what you do have, scripturally, what you do have is me and nothing comes against me and wins. And so this is what our focus needs to be on, on the spirit who brings love, power, and a sound mind. And it doesn't matter what any other spirit there is. It doesn't matter what anything that we had before Christ was, would, anything that we had before Christ in our lives that was taking us into another place, into the wrong path, that doesn't matter. Why? Because of the one he's given us. The spirit of, the spirit of, the spirit of, the spirit of, it's the spirit. That's where our focus needs to be on. Who is inside of you now? Who is in you, guiding you, leading you, enabling you, and empowering you to live like a son or a daughter of God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Amen. So I want to remind you of this truth so that this truth can be implanted in your mind renew your mind and you can make a choice and be intentional about living according to it and applying it to your walk and you will see the victory because of the one and only spirit inside you take care